How's it going guys? Austin or Jewelry Picker here. Uh, this video, I'm going to be showing you some finds from the week. Uh, I got some gold, some designer stuff, and yeah, let's get started here. I literally just got back, so a lot of these have tags in them. So you can see what I paid. Uh, yeah, so this guy here, this was $7.99. Like Southwestern liquid silver necklace. Um, yeah, probably weighs about like 25 grams, so that's a good price for $7.99. Uh, these I got there too. These are still Prada. Sorry, the lighting is so bad. Let me do a little bit. All right, yeah, these are still Prada. There. Uh, nice earrings. They're worth like 30 or so. I don't do too well with Sopata, but when I get it, find it cheaper, I'll grab it. And the other necklace that I got from there is this one here. Uh, this is another Sopata necklace worth around 30, and this was $7.99 as well. Uh, yeah, 30 bucks there. Uh, this was there too. This was on the, like, the jewelry rack. This was gold filled. But I do well with gold filled. This is 3 dollars I'll just throw this in my gold filled lot and throw it on eBay. I have a lot accumulating, so, yeah. Uh, I'll show this guy here. Uh, I was looking on eBay. I found this. They had it listed as Danish, which is not. It's from Texas or whatever they make it. Uh, this is James Avery. I paid $24 plus shipping, so it came out to like 30 Uh, J.A. Stir, level C, Candelabra. Uh, there was one sold on Poshmark for 150 I listed it for like 225 on eBay. I'll see what happens with that. No interest yet, but hopefully there will be soon. Um, wow, we're going really fast. I should probably slow down a little bit. Um, alright, so... What other stuff did I get? So I'm just trying to think. Okay. Uh, these, nothing too great here. Little Native American earrings. These were half off, so these were five bucks. Uh, unmarked. I believe they're still, they look like sterling. I gotta test them now. But yeah, for five bucks, these are good. Uh, maybe like 35 on these. Uh, I'll show these. We got this guy. And this guy here. These were $25, originally, originally 50, but they're half off. Um, so this is a Carolyn Pollock piece, really good shape, turquoise. Um, I think it may be like 80 on this. And uh, yeah, it's marked over here. Carolyn Pollock, the Relios mark, and it's also marked on the chain. Or the necklace, it has this, it's marked right there. But it's a nice piece. Uh, this guy, I think it's worth maybe like 125 I couldn't really find much on it. It's a Psalms piece. Uh, I found a bracelet up there, turquoise for like 150 starting, but I think it might be a little too high. But, uh, yeah, not too sure what this is worth, maybe like 120 or so. Uh, I paid 25 for this as well, it was half off. And the mark is right here, 925 Psalms. But yeah, it's a nice piece. It looks like maybe someone added on because there's like wire here, but maybe it's like that. Not too sure. But nice piece, definitely. Um, this I was happy with. This is ten bucks. Uh, little Native American bird cuff. It says uh, nine 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 right there. Uh, unmarked, I think. Uh, actually, is that a mark? Oh, it's engraved. Actually, I didn't even notice that. Wow. Yes, it's probably a little, like, Zuni piece, maybe. Well, I had no idea it was engraved. I didn't even look at it, really, to be honest. I just saw it, like, I'm 10 bucks, I'll grab this. Nice piece, though. Kind of shocked. It's actually signed. I'm really surprised you didn't notice that. Uh, this I saw as well. I was happy with this. Little Native American guy here. 19.99 for that. It was not half off. Signed TJH Sterling. Uh, these probably like red coral or like something red. I don't know. I don't know what the name is. Maybe like carnelian. <clears throat> but for 20 bucks, pick that up all day. All right. Uh, these guys, these were 15 a piece. Did I just break it? No, I didn't. Okay, I thought I just broke it. The clasp is loose. Um, these were 15 each. Large Omega necklaces. Uh, this one's like kind of stiff, actually. Okay. I don't know the weight on them, but they felt heavy, so I just grabbed them for 15 each. They definitely seem to be worth it. 
Uh, this guy here. This guy looks good. This is a uh, Taos piece. If that's how you say it, not too sure. Uh, this was twenty dollars. It's half off. It says Mama Forever Taos, and it's stand on the chain. Uh, this is maybe around a hundred, hundred and twenty. Uh, last guy, last silver piece here. Uh, this I just picked up maybe like fifteen minutes ago. Uh, can't really find much on it, but. I paid 48 for this. Uh, it's like a QVC, I believe. It says DS 925 18 karat, and it's somewhere like marked down there. I'm thinking like 120 on this, because that's, I knew they're like 200 or so. But it's nice as an amethyst, little 18 karat dots. It has like a Bali style to it, so I think if I add that, include that in the title, it'll sell. And yeah, I kind of moved really fast for that, but whatever. Uh, now we got the gold here. All this go like smallest to biggest. Uh, these I just picked up a little while ago. These were half off, so $12, $12, dollars twelve fifty. Uh, they are 14 karat and Carla. They are marked. I will show the marks. Uh, no, I don't want to show this better. That one has a little tarnish there. You can kind of see it. Uh, trust me, it says it. These are a gram. They're actually kind of heavy. They're not hollow. That's why I grabbed them. Uh, this guy I paid a little too much for. I mean, not a ton. This one was $40. Uh, they had like a security tag on it, so I couldn't really weigh it. The, the, the place that I get it from, they always have so much stuff. There's a ton of gold. Uh, it weighs like 1.2 grams, so I paid like under, a round mil, I guess. I don't know what the stone weighs, but I'll list it on Mercari for like 80 or so. Um, yeah, I probably shouldn't have picked it up, but whatever. It's marked 14 karat there. Um, this guy was from there as well. This was 199 half off, so 100 bucks. Uh, this is a Myler piece, 14 karat Italy. Okay, Italy Myler, let me weigh it. It's light, it's like really, I have been my scale downstairs, probably. Oh, here it is. Yeah, it's like really it's not heavy at all maybe like six grams or something yeah six oh, oh i didn't wait it's basically spot on there's probably maybe like 80 to 100 in gold here so i'll list it for like 250 see what happens on that uh last little bit here uh i'll show you that. that's like the best part of the week um these here these are 50 for the both um Put these up in the thrift store, they're both 14 karat. I'll show the weight, let me go to the scale. Uh, like 25 a piece, I believe. They're way similar. So 1.7. These ones are like 1.8, I believe. Maybe 1.7. 1.6, okay. Uh, there's actually a piece that fell off because they're broken. That went right there. But uh, yeah, for 25 bucks a piece, that's like $110 in gold. So. The uh, little ones, I'll see if I can sell. The other ones will get scrapped. And this guy here is the best find of the week. You can hear that it sounds good. Uh, this was $150. It's a 14 karat, like, link brace. It's nice. I would keep it because I'll show you. It looks good with my uh, Figaro. Or Figaro, however you say it. It looks nice, but it's dented in multiple spots. And it has cracks as well. Like, here it's dented and cracked. Uh, it has like holes right there, all over. Uh, this is marked K14 Italy or KM14 Italy. Uh, and this is a uh, RFN piece. So yeah, and I'll show the weight here for $150. It sounds pretty hefty, so I will show you the weight. He actually knew the weight too. I don't know why he sold it kind of cheap, but this was 12.6 grams. So that's like. I can get like 380, 400 for that, I think. Maybe I'm gonna be more off. My guy, one of them, he gives me 85%. So I can probably get like, with like 360, 350, not too sure. Uh, I'll be cool. Since this video is kind of short, kind of a little longer. All right, nine minutes, 50 seconds. All right. 
Oh yeah, I think I did pretty well this week. I probably spent around like 550 or so, but that bracelet alone, it's almost there, so. Yeah, I'll get a couple tags on here, but whatever. Is that it? I think so. So we got like, what, 24? Oh, we got some stones. Let's just say, let's just say 20 grams doing the stage side. So yeah, really good, I'd say. My opinion. I'll recap everything that we got. Got this guy. This little powder necklace. Little cuff. A little faster here. Gold filled necklace. James Avery piece. Probably one of my favorites is this guy here. Cardinal bracelet. That should be like 50 since it's signed. I don't know if I said that. The Talus piece. The two Omega necklaces. The Caroline Pollack. Some. These earrings here. Nope. These earrings here. The, these little potty earrings and the liquid silver necklace. So yeah, if you guys do enjoy this video, let me know in the comments. Let me know what your favorite piece was. Uh, mine would probably be the 14 karat bracelet, the this one or the other little cuff, whatever it is. Um, yeah, I think I did really well this week. Let me know what you thought. And yeah. Uh, I will have another blue box video hopefully next week. I just ordered one. I was only able to get one because I, I forgot to log in. And uh, yeah, peace.